Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, everyone. It's an honor to be here. As I've reflected on the storied relationship between our two great countries, I constantly return to President Kennedy's wise words in our friendship that what unites us is far greater than what divides us. And as President Obama mentioned earlier, if geography made us neighbors, then shared values made us kindred spirits, and it is our choices, individually and collectively, that make us friends. That friendship, matched by much hard work, has allowed us to do great things throughout our history, from the beaches of Normandy to the free trade agreement and now, today, on climate change. The President and I share a common goal. We want a clean growth economy that continues to provide good jobs and great opportunities for all of our citizens. And I'm confident that by working together, we'll get there sooner than we think. Let's take the Paris Agreement, for example. That agreement is both a symbolic declaration of global cooperation on climate change, as well as a practical guide for growing our economies in a responsible and sustainable way. Canada and the U.S. have committed to signing the agreement as soon as possible. We know that our international partners expect and indeed need leadership from us on this issue. The President and I have announced today that we'll take ambitious action to reduce methane emissions nearly by half from the oil and gas sector reduce use and emissions of hydrofluorocarbons, and implement aligned greenhouse gas emission standards for heavy-duty vehicles, amongst other plans, to flight climate change. Nous avons aussi annoncé un nouveau partenariat visant à bâtir une économie durable dans l'Arctique. Ce partenariat prévoit l'élaboration de nouvelles normes fondées sur des données scientifiques pour la pêche commerciale dans la haute mer de l'océan Arctique, ainsi que l'élaboration de normes pour assurer le transport maritime à faibles émissions. Le partenariat mettra aussi de l'avant le développement durable dans la région, en plus de relever la barre en matière de conservation de la biodiversité dans l'Arctique. Nous avons aussi pris l'engagement de rendre les frontières à la fois plus ouvertes et plus sécuritaires, en s'entendant en principe à étendre le prix des douanements à l'aéroport Billy Bishop de Toronto et à l'aéroport international Jean Lesage de Québec, ainsi qu'aux services ferroviaires à Montréal et à Vancouver. De plus, nous créerons un groupe de travail canado-américain d'ici 60 jours sur les recours afin d'accélérer le traitement des plaintes et de résoudre plus facilement les cas d'erreur d'identité sur les listes d'interdiction de vol. Finally, the President and I acknowledge the fundamental and wholly unique economic relationship between Canada and the United States. We have historically been each other's largest trading partners. Each and every day, over $2.4 billion worth of goods and services cross the border. Today, we reaffirmed our commitment to streamlining trade between our countries. Overall, the President and I agree on many things, including, of paramount importance, the direction we want to take our countries in to ensure a clean and prosperous future. We've made tremendous progress on many issues. Unfortunately, I will leave town with my beloved Expos still here in Washington. You can't have everything. I'd like to conclude by extending my deepest thanks to Barack for his leadership on the climate change file to date. I want to assure the American people that they have a real partner in Canada. Canada and the U.S. will stand side by side to confront the pressing needs that face not only our two countries, but the entire planet. I'm very much looking forward to the remainder of my time here in Washington, so thank you again for your leadership and your friendship, I know that our two countries can achieve great things by working together as allies and as friends, as we have done so many times before. Merci beaucoup, Barack.